this afternoon. Today is just running out for January and I'm here at um, Eden Fiat, which is uh, in Basingstoke. Uh, this is the um, Fiat T-Post saloon. I know a lot of you um, have been looking forward to seeing this. I apologise for the, the light in here. There's not an awful lot I can do about that. Um, they've only got one of these in stock. And um, this is it. This is the street model, which retails for just over £14,000 or so. There we are. It's got a 1.4 engine, normally aspirated engine, which generates 95 horsepower. If we look at the um, side of the car, we'll see that it's got these lovely black hollow wheels. These aren't exactly to my taste, but if you buy a hatchback or you buy an estate, you can get um, other trim levels which have other types of alloy wheel. Um, this being quite a basic car, um, these before Christmas, I know the um, basic model, the Easy, which has the uh, black uh, plastic hubcaps, steel wheels, that retail for about £10,000 is a special offer. If I open this up, you'll see just inside here, um, we've got cruise control, we've got uh, Bluetooth, standard kind of uh, cloth seats, six speed manual gearbox, normal handbrake and just standard air conditioning. There is a uh, USB port down there, a 12 volt socket. This is the um, smaller type of um, infotainment display. No sat nav or anything like that. Not that uh, you know you need better than a car like this. Bear in mind that you know Hyundai i10 base model now retails for twelve thousand two hundred and fifty pounds, and it makes this car look something like a bargain. Really, got more power than the Hyundai i10 for a start. Got um, as well tire pressure monitoring and a speed limiter. It's all quite handy stuff to have. If I take a seat in the front, see so you don't have the key or anything, so I can't start her up. Um, dials are nice and clear. Indicator stalks. I heard um, someone say that these are, these are terrible. This is okay. No leather steering wheel in this, but of course, there's other people models you can buy. Things like the uh, um, Easy Plus Lounge, um, the Sport. Those all have a better trim than, than this. Soft touch materials on the top, which is nice. Just nice and easy to operate, actually. There's the. Um, Things for opening the boot there. Locking um, there and automatic start stop. Just nice and easy to use, really. Um, and here we've got. Shall I shut the door? Because it would likely be better if I shut the door. Right, just get out of that light there. Four electric windows, just a normal do um, door handle. This car really isn't designed at uh, you know someone who wants the latest in kind of technology. It's designed to somebody who wants a, an affordable car to run around in. Um, it's got a lot, a lot of space, and this certainly has. Let's go and take a look in the back. So if we can look in, inside the back here, this is my drive position. I'm five foot eleven. Oh, there's loads of space in here. Headroom, I'm, it's um, it's a little bit tight. Um, for me, but if I go forward a bit, that's absolutely fine. Knee room's fine. No 12 volt socket or anything in the back of here. But there are rear electric windows and three seat belts in the back. Bit of visibility is a little bit restricted, but uh, it's not too bad. This is the 1.4 um, engine. It's based on the old sort of Fiat Fire unit. Very simple in here, loads and loads of room to work on. And um, obviously very clean, this car hasn't has got no miles on the clock. These are built in a factory in Turkey, I believe. I think the um, what little name for these is the Fiat Agia. Well, I could be wrong about that. So again, nice and simple, sums up the whole car really. One interesting thing I found is the car doesn't seem to have a, um, a fuel filler cap, it's just got this uh, this way of actually um, getting in between the fuel filler door and um, 
where the Petropot nozzle goes in without having to use a cap. It's, I suppose it's similar to the Ford Easy Fuel system. It's interesting. So the um, alloy wheels on this car, I know some of you ask what size they are, they are 16 inches. Stupidly, but um, I seem to have um, managed to close the boot without it opening. I'm sure if I had the key I'd be able to open that, but there's a button on the dashboard to open it, and I think I've managed to shut that without that way to open it. Yet. So we'll have to just cope without it. But anyway, yes, eight um, LED, LED daytime running lights on this car. Um, and it does look nice in this particular colour combination, I must say. So there we go, the um, Fiat Tipo Saloon and my Shadow, which is uh, getting in the way a little bit here. Thank you to um, Eden Fiat and Amazing Stoke for letting me, letting me film this. Um, I might be going for a test drive in a Tipo very soon. Thank you ever so much indeed for watching. I do apologize for the lighting levels in here, but there's not really a lot I can do about that.